Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back and to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. So I went ahead and I laid the cards out, I did the reading before I turned the camera on. Because um, the messages have been, a lot of them have been very similar, so I wanted to see if there was any new energy. And um, the information that's coming out, it's saying that you need to know, is that there's someone here that is going to be walking away from some goal or expectation that they have set. Whoever this person is, they're in some sort of emotional pain or turmoil, or this person could be very unstable at this time because they're realizing that they're not going to get what it is that they desire, and they did not plan for this. Whoever this is, there's an outcome here where whatever they plan for, there's a complete, like, however they've set their life up at this time is the opposite of the way that this is going to work out. This could have to do with a marriage or a partnership where there was a third party involved. Um, this could be a karmic feminine or this could be a karmic masculine, but there is two people and a third party here or a third energy. It looks like what this had to do with is either an asset or money or some uh, family situation where you have ex had to exercise a lot of strength. There's something here about strength is at the heart of this entire reading. So this is both you and this other energy, whoever this is, both of you have done something where there has been like a clash of the titans. It's like that's the energy, that's the force that's being... Um, it's something that's being almost showcased here. The the strength between you and this person. Both of you being very strong. And in different ways, this person could have been coming after you, it looks like, for something material. And you may have been coming after whatever this is with your heart. And those energies, both of them are very, very strong. And it's creating like a tornado effect here. And this person, whatever they've been working on, they're going to be disappointed at the end of this. It looks like... The future energy that's coming up is you going with the flow or something very divine coming in here for you. These two energies of the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands are going to be mixing together to make some new outcome. So the way that your life looks right now with this person involved in it, it's going to look different at the end of all of this. There's an awakening that's going to be coming in here for either one or both of you. And it looks like you're both going to be moving on from the situation into something else. Whatever it is that both of you are moving into, the way that this is showing is it looks like neither of you know how this is going to work out or what your future looks like without this person in your life harassing you or doing whatever it is that they're doing. There could be an older man involved or there could be something here to do with work. And um, whatever this is, whatever this work that's been put in, there's going to be an unexpected um, income from this entire situation. So for some of you, this is unexpected money that's coming in. For some of you, this is an unexpected message. Um, there could be an older gentleman involved in whatever this is, or whoever is coming towards you could be somebody who's going to be changing the situation. And it has something to do with an older man or an older masculine. And the things that you don't see coming towards you, it has to do with work or with money or something where you have gone back to the drawing board and you're working on yourself or your new beginning and you getting to move on into um, a successful situation. That's weird. This card also looks like the Six of Swords. That's what was giving me pause. Is um, But this is the Six of Wands. And the Six of <laughs> Swords is... Um, the the picture it is a woman and a child in a boat typically and there's somebody there or either way there's somebody in a boat and they're moving away from a situation they're almost like going with the flow but in this card this is the six of wands and it looks similar to the six of swords so it's like there's a victory that you're receiving along with moving on into something that's calmer and but it's like there's also success that's attached to it. That's something that you don't see coming towards you is whatever it is that you're working on is going to bring you success and happiness. And it's like you ride off into the sunset. What you need to know or why you need to know this information is another question that I asked is because you need to know that this situation is going to be made fair in regards to your pain. 
So there's been something here where there's been a lot of pain attached to whatever this has to do with or whatever this person was trying to do. And you need to know that there's going to be something fair and just that's going to be coming out whenever it comes to your pain. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? Collective needs to know. There's a king of swords here who is, their energy is very flighty. It's in and out. And that this person is in, in anxiety. <laughs> and they could be spying on you or they could be learning some new information about your stability or your home or there's something about their home and stability that there's going to be information coming in from this hierophant so this could be a judge or this could be somebody who has authority or this is somebody in the government or this is someone somewhere that there's information that's going to be coming towards whoever this king of swords is so this could be an older masculine this could be an air sign um but there's information coming towards them. You could be dealing with a Taurus or have that sign somewhere in your chart about their home. Where there's going to be... This person is going to be stopped. So for some of you, this person is not going to be allowed to come to your home anymore. There's something about um, love being protected from something that's manipulative and where somebody has been betraying you. So for some of you, there's something about somebody, there's going to be something that's written down that's legal where this person isn't allowed to do this anymore. This person, there's something that's finite here where they're, um, and that could be something that's unexpected that's coming towards you that could change the way that this looks in the future. What this looks like is what, is going to happen is you're going to be protected in perpetuity is what I just heard so whatever happens here the, this person is going to be stopped permanently they're not going to be allowed to do whatever it is that they have been doing there's some legal ramifications or there's something where there's boundaries put up and this person is like they're either jailed or stopped or blocked in some way where they can't continue to betray you and try to take your wheel of fortune that's what this card is actually what this looks like is somebody seeing that you have a wheel of fortune and then stabbing you 10 times and kicking you off of a cliff this was something that was very sinister that this person was doing and this is going to be coming to a complete ending the devil is at the bottom of this deck so the devil is going to be stopped that's that's something i saw in the last reading so whoever this is is going to be stopped completely there's something about the devil being hung or being drowned or being there's something about emotions being drowned in emotions fish also rep represent emotions um there's something about them being drowned by their own pettiness but there's also something about you drowning this person be with your love like that's what's put out this fire this forest fire is self-love or the way that your energy is there's love here and the knight of swords so you could have something new coming towards you and let's see is there anything else that the collective needs to know tower this is whatever this is you you don't see it coming whatever the way that this ends you need to know that this tower that's coming in it looks like this is something that's good for you if you look here it's crazy because these other cards we're just talking about a home and something about a home but it's like in this tower if you look, there's a sunset here that this person is sailing off into. And it's like you're leaving this foundation. You're leaving this home. You're leaving whatever it is behind. And you're sailing this way into the sunset here. And there's success and victory attached to it. So whatever's happening 
is going to be very unexpected the way that this conflict comes to a resolution and this person is going to be stopped permanently. And for some of you, this does have something to do with something legal. This person has done something that's so outlandish that they can be jailed for it. For others of you, it's on a smaller scale and maybe it's a restraining order. Or for some of you, it's something that's smaller than that, but they are going to be stopped for some reason. There's something about boundaries being put there. Maybe for some of you, you're moving away, but um, to where there's distance that's put between you and this person, so it's not so easy for them to harass you. <clears throat> for some of you, there's already distance between you and this person, but there's still like an energetic cord there that's going to be cut. <clears throat> and you're going to be able to, the things that, that, are, that are coming towards you, that you're going to be juggling is your money and happiness. You're going to be very financially stable. Your money looks good here for whoever I'm speaking to. There's something about you being financially independent. So for some of you, this is financial freedom. This has to do with whatever it is that is coming towards you. Could Maybe is something that's so big or so grand that you will have financial freedom. And that's part of the reason that this person had to be taken out of your energy. Because whatever this is that's meant for you, it's only yours. Whoever this person is that's being removed or stopped, or whatever this energy is, it's not something that's deserving of whatever this blessing is that's coming towards you. So it's, it's only supposed to be for you. Let's see. This could have to do with a dream job or some occupation that has to do with your north node. Um, the work, there's a work card that's in this deck that looks like the things that you do like on a day-to-day -day basis where it's like a almost second nature. You just do, <laughs> you just do whatever these things are like to make money because you have to, like you go to work somewhere because you have to. The occupation card is a card that you love. Like it is a, um, a job that you love it's something that you're doing that you love so maybe for some of you this is a hobby that you're going to be able to turn into something where you're able to collect a paycheck from it but there's a change here for some of you that has to do with your north node and sudden wealth so that is what i'm seeing is somebody's being removed from your energy and there's what you don't see coming is something to do with your career and finances where you're going to have a lot of success attached to it. And that is the message that I keep getting over and over again is somebody coming, like something is happening in the collective energy where the universe is putting a halt to this harassment. This isn't something that's being tolerated anymore because it's time for the collective energy to be able to have whatever it is that they need to elevate the rest of the collective or to help humankind or to do something to elevate the light energy in the universe. And for some of you, there's like a dream job that's waiting here for you that has abundance attached to it, that this person, whoever this is, that has been on you. This person could have known that you were meant for something like that. And that could have been the reason that they've tried so hard to attach themselves to you, either to stop you from having it because they're a narcissist or that to attach themselves to you because they know that they would receive abundance also if they were attached to your energy. So whoever this is, is somebody who ends up in despair. This could be a karmic male and they're in despair over the gift that you end up getting. So I'm going to go ahead and end the reading there. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.